Well, it's a big night event program set down for a decision at Clubman Angle on Saturday night. Highlighting the event is the Group 3 Clubman Angle Country Club final. Also, a very strong free-for-all with the return to racing of Lurham Lake up against the Belinda McCarthy team of Star Galleria and Alpha Orlando. As far as specials are concerned, in race two, I thought one of the better bets on the card was number eight, Mighty Flying Art. The Jack Trainer prepared consistent five-year-old Worked the line very strongly last time out in running fourth, beaten ten and a half metres by the croupier last week. Drew gate eight this time around. I think that will be a suitable gate for Mighty Flying. It should be prominent and prove very hard to beat. In the third event, number nine, our Cowgirls and Lace for Brad Hewitt, a very talented former Kiwi man now with Brad. Two runs, both resulting in wins and was very impressive winning first up at Wagga, then equally impressive last week, coming from a midfield role and powering to the line to score nicely. I spoke to Brad after that particular race, and he has a very big opinion and thinks that our Cowgirls and Lace can make the top grade. So our Cowgirls and Lace certainly one of the specials. Well, over to the uh, trot race eight, and this former USA Mayor Aldebaran Ravani has been highly impressive. She's now shooting for six on end since joining Belinda McCarthy. Runner-up at the first start in Australia, but has just continued to go from strength to strength, and she's a very exciting type. Well, there's no doubt the Bendigo program on Saturday night will be the signature of all eyes with a wonderful meeting. Eleven races set down for decision. Excitement plus from go to woe. Of course, the running of the Victoria Cup Strong support races in the Victoria Oaks, the Victoria Derby, the popular arm free-for-all, and also the Group 1 Bill Collins Trotter Sprints, a marvellous program. Looking for specials in race one, I thought number two, the Jimmy, the Irishman, fit of a two runs back from a spell, nicely drawn in gate two. I think he's ready to win. Over to race three, a very exciting two-year-old in the Group 2 Platinum Homegrown Classic for the two-year-old Colts in Gelding in his Charlie's Angel. I think he can overcome a back row draw and continue on his winning way. Well, in race five, the popular arm, the Group 3 event, this wonderful mare, Majida, for Emma Stewart. She's trialled very strongly on two occasions, finishing place behind Amazing Dream, one of the favourites, if not the favourite, for the Victoria Cup. And then Brindley won a Mel- Melton trial. She's ready to win at Bendigo. She's had seven starts for six wins in a second, despite being first up over the 21.50. And from a back row draw, I think Majida will get the job done. Over to race six, the Group 1 Victoria Derby, and here I'm sticking with American Dealer, now fitter for two runs back from a spell. But the big plus here is American Dealer moves from the second row to ideal draw here in gate two for Nathan Purden and Anthony Butt. And although he's going to be up against Act Now and Major Moth, two exciting prospects, I think American Dealer is certainly worth the gamble. We go over to race seven in the Victoria Oaks, the Group 1 event, and despite drawing the back row, ladies in red for me, but she's a wonderful filly, and I think she can continue on her winning way. But the two stable mates, Beach Music in particular, with a better draw, gate three, will take a power of beating. And of course, a very game performer, Joanna. She doesn't know how to run a bad race, and she will certainly make her two stable mates earn their money. Over the Victoria Cup, and it's hard to go past Amazing Dream. She's an amazing performer for Nathan Purden. Once again, Anthony Buck takes the reins. She's drawn nicely in gate five. She will be prominent from the outset. She's coming off a very impressive win in the Kilmore Cup. 2,690 metres, first up from a spell on that particular occasion. Strips fitter, and I think she is the one to beat. Although, King of Swing, despite the fact that he has drawn the back row, will give Amazing Dream a run for a money. They look the standouts in the Victoria Cup. Well, over to race 10, and around about the 4 or $5 mark, number four, Rich Beauty, has won two from two, and I think from the front line draw, she will go very close to taking out race 10 over her very strongly fancied stablemate, Faima, and also Joe and Joe. But Rich Beauty, for me, in race 10. So they're my thoughts for both Club and Angle and the big meeting at Benio on Saturday night. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the racing. Always stay safe and good putting.